Hi y'all, I'm Heather McKnight, the City of League City Arborist. I'm out here in the garden today, and as y'all are aware, spring was, what, about a week or so ago? So we're looking at doing a little spring cleanup. I have my gloves here, and then I reach around and I have my pruners in my pocket. So what I'm looking at here is a salvia, and this is the shrub. This is the part that froze, it's dead from winter. It's, and um, it's perennial, it comes back, and as you can see, we have it starting to come back at the base here. All I'm gonna do is move this new growth to the side very carefully. I'm gonna have to pull a little bit out here and I'm just gonna cut the old stems and I'm gonna cut them all the way down to the ground. Now that we have this new growth coming out, we can just cut this down all the way as far as we can get it. Okay. This is a Turk's cap and I can see the dead growth from last year where I got frozen and then I can see the new spring growth here so it's starting to come out as well. So same thing, I'm just going to take my pruners and cut it all the way down, make room for that new spring growth. So right here we have a little satsuma tree. So this would be, this advice here would be the same if it's, you know, lemons, limes, any type of citrus. It's hard to tell, there's a couple in here, some of these branches feel pretty flexible, um, some of them are you know, breaking off. But what you can do on the main trunk is take, you can take a little pocket knife. I like to take a little flathead screwdriver and just make a tiny little nick right there just to where you can see right under the bark. And if the tree is alive, it should look, we say it's green, it'll be like a white tissue. If it's brown under that bark, then the tree did not survive. Um, same for, for some of the larger woody shrubs. So do that, make sure you do it on the main trunk and not some of the limbs because you can have dead limbs and the main trunk still be alive. One of the things you want to do when you're looking at your palm tree is see if there's any green on the tree. Now this could be an actual frond, so you have a fan type palm, you have actual frond. If we're looking at the frond here, here's my elbow, even the base of the frond, maybe the leaf is brown and the base of the frond is still green. You want to keep that green part on there. You do not want to cut that green part off because in palm trees, anything that is green is actually still feeding the tree. So just kind of keep it status quo and look for any green on the tree. And just let them uh, take their time making it come back. 